Today we again study Positive Mitzvah 245, which is the Torah's general instruction that we are to obey its guidelines when it comes to buying and selling and how we effectuate transactions. One of the most basic concepts when discussing these laws is the concept of kinyan, which means acquisition. By Torah law, verbal agreement does not mean that a transaction has taken place. So if I go as a buyer to a seller and we agree just with our words, and even if there's witnesses, that uh, I will sell you this product, that does not mean that the product is sold. An act of Kenyan, which the Torah recognizes as an act of acquisition, must take place, and only then does the property change hands. This applies both to real estate and to movable items. There are many types of Kenyanim which the Torah recognizes as effective. Today we'll just discuss a couple of them, time permitting. First is Kesef. This is the most fundamental type of acquisition, money. If I pay for an object with cash or sometimes even with other merchandise, the Torah sees this as an effective way of acquiring the desired object. Another type of Kenyan is called shtar, which means document. If a legal document is written up attesting to the transaction, that is an effective Kenyan and the object is acquired. Another type of Kenyan, which is primarily by real estate, is known as chazaka, which literally means strength, but is a reference to when a person shows manual ownership of the land he is about to acquire. So for example, he would break down a wall or set up a door and lock it. Those would be ways to show his ownership on the land and the Torah recognizes that as a Kenyan and thereby the real estate now goes to the buyer.